Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is I'm talking about some Amazon outfits or summer dresses that I got. And I got four new ones, so I do a look a day. And so one of the days is a repeat from last year, but I, I went ahead, it's still available, so I went ahead and showed it anyway. I'm going to put a timestamp when it starts because I was going to talk about something else first. Um, so you all know that I live in the same town with my children. My daughter lives down the street with her three children and her husband. My son lives across the street and I can look out and see where, see his house. He lives across the street with his wife and four children, two girls, two boys. Uh, so they have lived either across the street or around the corner for 17 years before they had their first child. Uh, and she, in the fall, all four of the kids, she will be 16, then the 14, then a 12, and then a 10. So I have been with those children pretty much every day since the day they were born, or regularly since the day they were born. But there's some changes coming up this fall, and I couldn't talk about it before, but I can now. My son and the whole family, they're moving to Louisville, Kentucky. Now, they're just moving for a year, and then they're coming back. They aren't going to sell their house. They're going to rent it. Um, so, they are coming back. Uh, my son feels called to uh, be a minister. So, th the church is, you know, sending him back up there to go back to school. Uh, it's going to be extremely intense. They're packing, it packs in about three years of study into one year. So it's going to be an extremely intense experience about it. Um, but I'm going to miss them so much. I have, like I said, these, these children, I was there when they were born. And I saw them minutes, within minutes of them being born. And I've talked and done videos before about how I coped when I was an empty mess nester when my daughter went to college and then when my son went to college and my daughter moved to California. You know, how I coped with being without my children. So I'm going to have to learn and go back to those things again that I did before to get through this. And I know it's just a year. It's just I haven't been without them that long. And I will be fine. And I firmly believe, even though something might hurt me and leave like a hole in my heart, I've always felt that my children needed to fulfill their destiny. And it was my job to make sure that they did it. You know, that they needed to f fulfill what they felt like was right for them. You know, I've always heard that when a lot of times when your children learn to walk, the first steps they take are away from you. And I think that that's true. Your job is to help them grow, be fulfilled, to be happy, be the person that they want to be and that they are meant to be. And this is what he feels like his destiny is. And, um, you know, he's nervous. I'm very supportive of it because he's very nervous. He's in his 40s now, going back to school. He's worried, you know, this is, this is a big, you know, big deal. And, uh, but he just feels like God's calling him to do it. So, uh, I fully, fully support that. But I really am going to miss him. <laughs> it's, so, uh, I'll be going to Louisville. I'm sure I will burn up the road going up, Doug and I'll burn up the road going up to Louisville. Uh, sometime when I'm up there, maybe if there's anybody in, that lives in Louisville, maybe we can have a meetup and, you know, kind of get to know each other in person. And that might be fun if anybody would ever be interested. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll be, I'm sure I'll be going over to, uh, you know, we lived in Lexington. I'm sure we'll be going over to Lexington. My uh, children, my ex-husband uh, was born and raised in Frankfurt, so uh, the kids want to go over and see where he grew up and everything, so I'm sure we'll do that. We'll, we'll be doing a lot, uh, but, you know, I can't see him every day like I did before. But anyway, so enough about that. Um, I just wanted to kind of let you all know, I'll try to do, I'll probably stay as busy as I can. I'll try to do extra videos to keep from missing them. That's what I do when when my heart hurts is I try to 
you know, get busy and take my mind off of it. So I'm sure I'll be doing extra videos to, uh, you know, take my mind off of it and be able to pay for a hotel when I go to Louisville. <laughs> so bear with me on it. But anyway, today's video is I bought me some Amazon dresses, like I said in the introduction, and I really do like them a lot. So uh, I went downstairs and got my, I just did it on my phone. I think they turned out okay. They could have been a little clearer. So um, I will go ahead and get started. Okay, the first one is Amazon Essentials Women's Lightweight Jersey Slim Fit Tank Dress. And it's in orange, and then you'll see when I turn around, I have a wet spot. I promise I did not pee my pants. I was steaming it, and a big bunch of water came out because I tilted it over, and I didn't realize it until today when I went to edit it. So, But every year, I try to buy something orange in the hopes it will bring good luck to the University of Tennessee football team. So this is my orange for the year. This is the Florence F. L-O-E-R-N-S, Women's Boho Floral Print Off the Shoulder Dress. It comes up high, and I had my granddaughter take, I bought several of them, I bought this last year, take it and kind of hem it down a little bit where it wouldn't come up so high. But this is still available. I wore this on the day I got my infusion for Crohn's disease. I wanted to be comfortable, and so I just wore flip-flops. Um, but... I just, it's a very comfortable dress. In fact, when I got home, I, I didn't feel well. It always kind of makes me sick. So I just laid down in the dress and I was perfectly comfortable. So uh, I really like it a lot. But this one is not new, but it is still available. This one, I'm not even going to attempt to say the name. It's the Women's Summer Short Sleeve Casual Dress V-neck. And it has pockets. I really like it a lot. I don't have many dresses that have pockets, but this one does, and I like it a lot. Uh, you know, one of those you can dress up, dress down. Uh, you can, you know, it's, it's just a good summer dress to wear. You can wear it to, you know, like I said, dressed up or dressed down sandals or heels or flats or however you want to, and um, I don't know. I like the color. It's just very, very comfortable. All these dresses are very comfortable, but uh, I really do like this one a lot. This one is the Make Me Chic Women's Summer Boho Dress. Um, it's floral print, it says. Now this has a little bit, it looks black, but it has a little bitty pattern to it. Um, and so I just had my hair up in a ponytail, some earrings, and some flat sandal, sort of half sandal in the back. It's sort of cutouts in, you know, with just some little straps to it. But this one does not have pockets, but I'm going to show you that the nice thing about this one, it has a little slip underneath it. So, um, and it's thick too, so there's no seeing through it or anything, which, you know, for a lot of things that you buy on Amazon, you don't get a lot of lining with it, but very comfortable and very cool. So, I like it. This one is, well, I was running out the door and I thought, ooh, I better film my outfit. So, I ran back and just stood in the kitchen and it's got pockets. It's a women's summer dress sleeveless casual loose button down dress with pockets. And it does have pockets. I just wore it with some flats that day. It's just above the knee and the buttons do not unbutton. They're just there for show, but it's great uh, with the pockets. Very, very comfortable. Another one of those, very comfortable. Uh, my kitchen is, you know, very dated. I've talked about it before. We had hoped to redo it someday, but don't know if we ever will. But uh, anyway, so that's this one with the flats. Okie dokie. So those are my uh, dresses, the four new dresses that I bought and one from last year that I had bought. And uh, I, uh, you know, I appreciate this. And I promise that I won't whine about him and, you know, them and my grandkids being gone, moving away. So I promise I won't do that. I, I'll just, I'll be fine. <laughs> but I probably will make a lot of videos to distract myself. But anyway, uh, you know, such is life, right? Um, I appreciate everyone watching. Everybody take care. 
I'll talk to y'all in a couple of days, and I sure appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. It's free to subscribe, and then you can make sure when I make a video that you catch it if you want to. I appreciate it. Everybody take care, and uh, I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.